Howdy folks, episode 200, <laughs> Coffee and Tools. I guess you can pretty much figure out what I did this weekend. I made a uh, lid holder, but I wanted to show you the science behind it so you can, you know, if you want to decide to make one for yourself. It, uh, it's an easy build, there's not that much to it. Again, scrap lumber, you know, except for the doweling. I'm going to give you a quick tip on the doweling. You can buy doweling at different prices. This probably looks like I spent a lot of money. This is a couple dollars worth of doweling. That's all it is. How do you get around that? Well, if you go over to Lowe's, you can figure this out. This doweling here is half inch and it comes in up to six foot pieces. A six foot piece is only a couple dollars because it's poplar. It's not oak, it's not pine, it's not some softwood, whatever, it's poplar. And poplar for a project like this is fine. I wouldn't use it outside or under certain stresses, load conditions, whatever. But for this project here, poplar is absolutely fine to use for like around the kitchen. So for only a couple dollars, you can get six foot pieces. I bought, actually bought three pieces uh, knowing I shouldn't need three, but I used two, plus I ended up having to borrow a little off of this or else at six feet, I'm, man, I'm big, I'm, I'm huge, huh, yeah, but, yeah, so, first thing we had to do to make this thing, we had to get all the lids out to the workshop and take a look and lay them out, and I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so the first thing we had to do was uh, get some paper and a big old black pencil, yeah, yeah, it gotta be black, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I took the two lids, the biggest lid and the smallest lid, and I laid them out on a piece of paper this way. Then I took a look at dimensionally, just sketched in some lines here to get an idea as to where the lumber would land and where the pegs, of course, would come up. So what I did was I would take a tape measure and measure across and see what the recommendations were from the biggest lid to the smallest lid and try to get some kind of feel for how you know far apart these two pieces of wood are. Now these, this wood here is an inch and a half by an inch and a half. I cut it from a two by four. So you actually, when you cut a two by four down, you're still gonna have a little scrap left over, but it was a scrap piece of two by four short. In this case, I started with uh, 21 inches for length, but again, all of this will de be determined really by the lid that maybe your wife has a collection of lids and you may have to change your dimensions. That's why I'm showing it to you this way to see this is what I did. Take your wife's lids, get the big one, get the smallest one, you know, and just sort of lay it up like this. This will give you a really good idea as to where everything is going to land and how far apart these pieces, you know, need to be. Okay. So from that paper diagram, the next thing we could determine using that method of madness was that on the inside here would have to be about six inches and on the out in the inside here would be actually ended up at three and a quarter but that's why you do the paper thing first right so you know that you're going to have to come up and reduce this you know dimensionally you're going to have to come in tighter and tighter to pick up the same uh, lid sizes all the way across so that's kind of a tricky thing but again, that's why I say custom work for your own lids because this may not work for your situation. I'm just showing you the uh, method of what I used in order to, do, you know, get this thing and make it and make it work. So now, at that point, we now have some idea. We need to do the length and we need to do some kind of peg spacing. So I measured the lids and again, let's take a look at the paperwork. So here's the uh, rough dimensional look at the side of the piece of lumber here and here's the pegs and of course at this point what I determined was that I would need about an inch and a half space between the two pegs for the lid to sit down in between like to sit like this in, inside of it and then because the handle I would have to move over which was kind of a you know material thing of like well, like I hate to do it but it was really I don't have a choice I'm gonna have to set another peg about an inch apart and again, these are half inch pegs. If you're doing three eighths, something like that, everything's gonna be different, you know, custom lid, whatever. But I needed an inch and a half. And an inch and a half seemed to work for just about any lid. And I even tried her metal lids and it worked as far as, you know, sitting down in, the, in this area here. And then the height of the pegs, that was another thing that had to be determined. But right now, uh, just the spacing of the pegs and then how many pegs do we need? And of course, you can see a little bit of math going on down here because I had to figure out, okay, I know I've got, you know, uh, each, each piece was 72 inches of peg 
or doweling and I'm going to cut six inch pieces out of that. Well, the saw takes about an eighth of an inch every time it takes a cut. So you're not going to get, this is not going to come out to be per, what I call perfect math. You're not going to get 12 pieces. You're going to get probably 11, which, you know, yeah, I did. And that's where I kind of got a little bit messed up, but hey, it doesn't matter. I had three pieces to cut from, so we're good. Now, the one inch spacing, well, like I said, was because the handle sticks out from the lid and it needed a little more space before we could start the next lid, which, you know, this, this thing would be like over here. And then we would have another inch and a half uh, spacing. Whoops. Oh, man. So much for me. Uh, you should see my handwriting. It's even worse. Yeah. Uh, so the, stop typing. Anyways, the, the next lid would sit over here. And, you know, every other one you're landing like this and the next of course make absolutely sure that she gives you every lid she wants in this thing so I had six lids and that was from a Wolfgang puck collection that I had bought her years ago that saw stainless steel so I had to make sure I had of course room for six lids so then the next math of course was how long does this, uh, does this piece of lumber have to be so for the next part, the, the simple math, you got to add up all that inch, inch and a half spacing. Plus you want at least about an inch off the centers for the ends. So that'll give you a total. In this case, I've got an 18 inch piece of wood is what it works out to with all this uh, spacing going on. Now yours, like I said, depending on the number of lids you're dealing with, you might have a very different situation. Another big secret, run in the kitchen and see where she keeps these things. You may not have enough space. I have more than enough space for this thing, but you know, different kitchens, different situations. Uh, the other thing you could do is maybe build a rack this way that the lids go into or something like that, depending on, you know, again, preferences to a kitchen layout. But uh, this makes the little woman happy and that's priceless. You know what I'm saying, guys uh, and girls uh, or significant others. <laughs> God, the the world we live in. <laughs> yeah, so that would be the next thing. And then, of course, the holes. Let's talk about drilling half inch holes, one inch deep. Now to drill that half, to drill that half inch hole, one inch deep, you could use a paddle bit, which would be one aspect to do it. Uh, I have in the past sometimes used high speed steel drill bits. They work great in lumber. Big secret there, you know, don't tell anybody. And the other thing I use, in this case, this is what I did use, was I used a half inch uh, Forstner uh, bit. I don't know if you, yeah, focus, mm, probably not, eh, maybe. And the Forstner is, uh, I use that on a drill press. If you don't have a drill press, you're still gonna need a really good straight cut. And there's some real st stupid easy ways to do that. And one is to take two blocks of wood, just put them together like this and run down the 90 like that and try to get a, you know, that'll give you, that'll help guide for a 90 degree straight in, straight in cut. The half inch high speed drill bit is not really the, a bad choice. Uh, I just use them a lot of times when I'm, you know, in a hurry or something on lumber and I've always found them, they're, they're pretty darn good. The paddle bit is really, uh, it's, it's an elegant old, style of drilling and again i like it but you need to have that good 90 degree if you have a uh, drill press that's fine if you don't have a drill press these can be a little harder to deal with to try to get them you know straight down in because the straighter it is the better this the, you know the better the finish is going to come up and it's going to look like you almost knew what you were doing or something so that was the next part of this uh, project was to get all those holes drilled and there was a lot of them. Uh, I used a centering device, which uh, I made on the 3D printer. I would show it to you, but it's, it's, you can center a piece of inch and a half, three quarters of an inch over, run a line and just sketch the whole line down the center. I tapered mine uh, 45 degree angles just to fancy it up a little bit, but really uh, there was no reason for that. It was just, it helped the lid to sit down in here a little bit more. Again, you know, just fluff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the scrap pieces of lumber that are underneath it are truly scrap. And what I did here was I ran two bits here and here. That's to help keep this angle and to keep, you know, the loads from spreading or moving around. 
nothing, it sort of locks it into place. And then of course at the top, same thing. Just an inch and, uh, inch and a half uh, wood screws, just drove them in kind of thing. And that locks this, this whole assembly together, so she's solid. Now, none of these are glued in, and they will not be glued in, not even in the future. I don't plan on gluing them in. A couple of reasons. One was I thought I might have to take them back out and shorten them. The reason I picked six inches was I would have at least five inches above and one inch in the block of lumber. And that's something you'll have to look at. Again, you'll have to adjust to your lid. But I want to show you something with this. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. Just for an example, uh, like I said, other lids will fit because ambient numbers, whatever. But here's a small metal lid from a pot holder. And again, you can see it goes nicely in there and is held. And you could actually put it there too as well. I think you could probably, yeah, you could even get it in there. It's starting to get a little sloppy, of course. And as you get further out, more slop. But uh, the whole thing was the inch and a half seemed to work for most of the lids that she had. And even these metal lids, I noticed actually they that fits really that fits really well. But, but you have to adjust everything to yours. It's this is sort of a custom build, so I wouldn't say that you know you could produce these and sell them on the on the street corners. Uh, you could, but if you did, I'm not sure what dimensions you'd use. Uh, like using my dimensions or or this layout here that I've got, it would probably work for most things. But that's again. That would be your call, not mine. So instead of a mess sitting in a drawer looking like this, you could have a well-organized layout like this and happy wife, happy wife, yes. So if I inspired you today to get out to the workshop and build a wife something, hey, good. Man, episode 200. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching Coffee and Tools and Please like and subscribe if you haven't, and keep an eye on this channel. Uh, I've got some more stuff coming up for giveaways. So uh, I've got something back here on the bench that we'll be giving away probably next, well, the next couple episodes. Uh, also looking at that light, uh, what was it, the light uh, laser, laser uh, engraver. Probably be giving that away shortly too. So, so you need to keep an eye on this channel because <laughs> we've got stuff just given away, you know. Meantime, hope you enjoyed or Got, got some thought and got some ideas going, hmm, you know. So thank you so much again for watching Coffee and Tools. And please like, share, and subscribe. And that's it. Over and out.